You guys feel like blowing an engine up today? I know I do. I have always wanted to run one of these horizontal shaft Honda engines out of oil so I can personally see what that looks like and hear what that sounds like when that happens. Let's do that today. Sounds like a Miller High Life day to me. Hey guys, welcome back to the Small Engine Saloon. I'm Steve. So yeah, today we got a Honda GC160 horizontal shaft engine. We are going to run this thing with no oil in it today until it fails. It blows apart, it seizes up, does whatever it's going to do. And then we're going to pull it apart and see what inside that engine actually failed. So we can all learn something from this. I've never seen this happen before. I'm actually kind of excited about this. I got a stopwatch. We're going to see how long it takes for that to actually happen. And I got my trusty little uh, temperature gauge right here. So we can see at what temperature the engine actually fails at too. Now on that note uh, right there, temperature. I wanted to know what a normal operating temperature was for this engine first. So yesterday, before I drained all the oil out of it, um, I took it outside and ran it for a good 10 minutes, kept che checking the temperature on it. I couldn't get any hotter than about 170 degrees Fahrenheit. So that is what I'm gonna call a normal operating temperature for this engine. Um, it is under no load, it's just a crankshaft sticking out. There's no pressure washer pump on it. There's no attachment on that thing. It's just a freewheeling general purpose engine. So let's go outside and smoke this thing right now. Well, sorry guys, that was nowhere near as spectacular as I thought it was going to be. I was really hoping that an entire side of the engine or something like that was just going to blow right out for you guys. Well, not the case. You saw me trying to restart it out there. It has compression. It turns over freely. It's got compression, but it will not restart. Fuel tank still full. Of course, there's nothing wrong with the spark. Why isn't this thing restarting? So before we open up the engine and pull the engine apart, I'm going to pull this valve cover off and see if we can see anything noticeable inside of there as the cause of this failure first. So let's do that. I'm going to pull that off right now. So I just took the valve cover off and did a visual inspection in here and the, the nothing wrong with the belt. The belt didn't melt. It didn't come off of the cam wheel. But 
The cam wheel lobe right here that lifts the lifters to open and close your valves is melted and distorted a little bit right there. So what I did is uh, I took the spark plug out to make it a little bit easier to pull over. I just took out my feeler gauges right there and I checked the clearances on these valves. Sure enough, the intake valve is the clearance on that is 17 thousandths of an inch. It's supposed to be six. The exhaust valve is 21 thousandths of an inch and it should be eight thousandths of an inch. So those valves are right out to lunch. I'm just gonna try this, you guys. I'm going to reset those valves to 6,000 and 8,000 like they should be. I'm gonna put it all back together and we're gonna see if that actually works. It's all experiment to me too. Before we go open up the whole engine, I gotta see if this is going to work. Let's do it. All right. What I just did there with the valves um, I'm not gonna, I don't want this video to drag on and on and on. So what I did with resetting the valves right there, I'm not going to get into detail with how to do that right now. That'll be a future video. Um, I'll put a little link up here in the I button for you when that video is up. I'll show you how to reset those. Not today though. I did it. Put the spark plug back in. 6,000, 8,000. Obviously topped it back up with oil just now. And... Uh, we're gonna see if this thing works. That blows me away, you guys. That is no bullshit. All I did on that motor was reset the valves and put oil back in it and now it starts and runs. I'm not even taking the rest of this engine apart. I'm going to put a pressure washer pump back on this thing and I'm going to use it as a pressure washer and see how that works. I hope you like this video guys. Give me that thumbs up button if you liked it. Share it with your friends. Subscribe to my channel if you already haven't. Till next time guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Miller High Life, Champagne of Beers, Steve out.